everyone, this is Hope and Karen again with Young Lions, and Karen has a topic for us today. So. Yeah, so I actually wanted to speak more about um, focusing on sin and how we need to actually stop focus on, focusing on sin in order to get rid of it. I yeah. think it's a huge thing. Um, it's, well, especially for me, I have found myself... Like, sometimes if I'm in a cycle of sin that I'm trying to get rid of, I'm focused on how do I get rid of the sin. So I even, sometimes I even sit down and I make a whole plan. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this and that and that. Mm. But I don't even include, um, like, putting God first, which is which is crazy. So, like, let's say God yeah. told me, Karen, like, do this. I don't obey that, you know, because there's once where God was telling me to wake up at 5.30 every day and pray. And I was not obeying that certain part, right. yet I was doing things my own way, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think that, like, um, there's just one verse that kept coming to me. It is Psalms 91, verse 14 to 15. It says, because he has focused his love on me, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. And when um, it said, like, because that one person... Right, that one Christian, that one believer, fo focus and put their love on me, and what like like putting God first and everything. Yeah. Then God delivered him, and I thought I thought I sat down. I really thought to myself, I'm like, oh, like that's that's what I need to start doing, right? Like it's just like sitting down and being like, okay, God, I will put you first, and I'll let you like do the work. Yeah. Instead of putting all of does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Did you find yourself in a place where you're like? strain to do something and you know it was in your own efforts instead of putting it on god like letting god take care of it yeah school i mean I it's always my go-to it's like the <laughs> one thing in my mind all the time every yeah, day because i yeah. have to do it every day yeah that but makes sense, though. like i guess it's not sin in the sense that you're thinking like she's doing something bad yeah but i was going after school without keeping him in mind and I kept going oh I keep like doing this by myself and mm -hmm. I knew that I didn't want to do that mm -hmm. but I didn't focus on God to deliver me from that so I yeah. just kept going what can I do to stop doing it by myself and yeah I'm like, do you yeah. hear myself I just said what can <laughs> I, I do, do yeah. to stop doing that so yeah yeah like that's what I think and it's about. a cycle a lot of Christians put themselves up they don't even sit down and think like it's not, it's, you know, it's one thing to say it, and it's not, and it's another thing to actually be like, oh, I'm actually not putting God first. Like, what is God yeah. telling me in this situation? Because to me, um, that it's when I say sin, it's like even it's something that's basically straying me away from God, right? So um, even to me, it didn't make sense that praying at five thirty in the morning for five minutes would change what I what I need to get done so yeah. I was doing all these other things that wasn't adding up and God wasn't telling me to do yeah. you know instead of doing that one thing God told me to do mm -hmm. um so sorry this is something I really want to share that I wrote down here mm -hmm. I feel like um I feel like actually when you put your trust in God and put your all in God that that desire itself to even sin or do whatever you were doing before actually starts to dis diminish, you know? Mm -hmm. And so um, I feel like some, some of these things, it will only be done through God's power. And yeah. it took me a lot of, <laughs> like, I had to be humble because I feel like thinking yeah. that you can do everything by yourself um, is a prideful thing. Yeah, which I, yeah, that's sin. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it right. is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like, I feel like just like I needed to like, humble myself and be like oh like I actually can't do this in my own my own power because yeah. sometimes I would go out there and I'd be like like God would tell me to prophesy I'll go to someone I'll prophesy I'll, you know and so in my head because I was pretty young at that time I started mm -hmm. prophesying at a young age and so mm -hmm. when I would get things accurate and then I started thinking oh it's through my power and so when God told me to go read the word I'll be like eh, at 5 30 nah it's okay yeah. you know on that same day I'll go prophesy for someone pray over someone someone will receive healing something like that like one person mm -hmm. will be able to walk after I pray for them, they'll start walking again. Like right. crazy things that God would do at a such, to, through me at such a yeah. young age. And so then I think that um, me being in the cycle that I was in recently and then breaking away from that through only God's power by waking up at 5.30, like I started waking up at 5.30 and everything, put me in a humble place because this yeah. it has nothing to do with me. Like it's all God, mm -hmm. you know? 
So that was something that I had to constantly remind myself. And I just wanted to encourage other people about that little testimony. And I think as well, like you had said to stop focusing on the sin. Yeah. Um, what we focus on, we give power to. Yeah. So if I keep going, I'm not going to eat this cake. And I say that every time I eat the cake, I'm going to want to eat the cake. Yeah. Because now I'm focused on the cake. Yeah. Instead of being like, oh, let me go find like a vegetable or let me go find a fruit instead yeah. of like constantly saying, I'm not going to do this. Because... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like what you focus on, that is what you'll do. So, I mean, then what would we do? We would focus on God or the word or whatever God's telling us to do. Mm -hmm. So God told you, wake up at 530. Yeah. You started doing that and then you're like, oh, now I don't even want to think about the other things. Mm -hmm. And another thing I like that you said is that the more time you spend with God, the less you want to do those things. Yeah. And that's so true because... Like, I used to think that Christianity was about, like, rules, regulations, like, oh, I have to discipline myself or whatever, which you do have to discipline yourself. But at the same time, if you're spending time with God, you want to do things that please him. So then you're not going to do things that you know he doesn't like. Mm -hmm. So I was at a really good point in my life, I think in high school and after high school as well, Mm -hmm. where I was just like, oh, I don't feel bad that I don't get to do these things that other people do. I am happy because I know that it pleases God and I know that it's good for me because sin is hurtful to us. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt him. It hurts us. And that's why he doesn't want us to do it. So then when I realized that, I was like, oh, I don't actually want to do those things because I know that they hurt me. Mm -hmm. And I know that I want to have a good relationship with God and sin separates me from God. 100%. But with Jesus and forgiveness, we get to go to God yeah. every time. And in order for you to even get to that place where you're like, I want to please God, which is why I don't want to sin, you'll yeah. actually have to get to know him, right? Mm-hmm. And so like spending that time, that's what I'm saying, like yeah. not even focusing on, oh my gosh, I'm sinning, I'm sinning, I'm sinning, but like just being like spending that time to get to know him so you can start loving Mm -hmm. him and you know and all that stuff and building relationship then it's so much more easier because it's 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 different to do um something for someone you don't know but when you get to know that one person and you trust them and you have a relationship then it's so much easier to obey what they say Mm -hmm. um and so i just always think about back to the story of the prodigal son where the father took I mean, the son took all the inher- inheritance from the father, yeah. went and spoiled it and everything. And the and the son even, like, slept with pigs, all that, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. And then he came back, and I, I bet, like, he was filthy and all that. And then um, his father saw him and came running to him. Um, and then dressed him up with robes and everything like that. Because it, it was, like, a wealthy family, basically. Yeah. And so I always think back to that, and I'm like, like, that's God in us, right? And so sometimes where, where I think that I have to come to God all clean and all this and that. But when I look back at that story, because I never used to think of myself as, oh, I'm the prodigal son. Until mm-hmm. one day I sat down like, wait, like that's literally where I'm at. And I need to go back to, to God and it doesn't matter my state of yeah. being, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, because yeah, if we had to go to God only when we had no sin, we yeah. would never like talk to him we would never have that relationship with him but he sent jesus to die on the cross and rose again (laughs) lived again so that we could come to him no matter what we're going through yeah and like that's just the beautiful thing about forgiveness is that he forgives us through the blood of jesus because we believe in jesus and then we get to go to god no matter what Mm -hmm. and i'm sure that he like think about it if someone is hurting and you know that they're not themselves Mm -hmm. you still want them to feel like they can come to you Mm -hmm. instead of being like you can only talk to me when your life is good yeah which I know that sometimes we feel that way yeah but if you think about it in your deepest part where you're like I feel love towards this person I want them to come to me no matter what Mm -hmm. so I think that that's really beautiful and something I just wanted to touch on quickly is that we talked about like If you get to know God, then you love God and then you want to do things that pleases him. A good place to start if you don't know what that looks like is the book of John. In the Bible, it's called the book of love. Um, Roar of the Lion did a really good um, coverage of the book of John and they just kind of went through it and talked about like who Jesus was or who Jesus is and how he's loving 
and then what that book is about. And if you decide to read that book, then you can read whatever chapter that they're on in the video. And then you can watch that video after and see um, what your thoughts were and what their thoughts were and what you can combine. And I just think that'd be a really good mm -hmm. place to start. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, it's on roaroftheliondedmonton.com and on the Facebook page that you're on right now. And if you want to see any of our other videos, they're there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but so, thank you so much yeah. for hearing us. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, just stop focusing so much on sin and start focusing on God and g things will work out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. See you next time. Mm -hmm.